name, 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 name. Oh, ah, ah, name, ah, oh, name. What do you offer, pray, ah, 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 to sing, ah, ah, to sing, ah, great. Oh, yes. One more time. Name, 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 name. Ane, Bobane, what is your praise? What is our heart? Our heart, our heart, we sing our praise. Oh. God. Hallelujah. Come on, give thanks to Him. Celebrate His holy name. The Lord is good and His mercies endure forever. The one who is, the one who was, the one who is to come. The I am that I am, the ancient of day, the in the beginning God, the one who can never change. Although the whole world can change, but the unchanging God is His name. Thank you, Father. Glory to your holy name. In Jesus' name, we have declared. And so, Lord God Almighty, I bow down before you today and I ask you to open this avenue for free movement of your power, free movement of your integrity. Free movement of your beauty, free movement of your glory, free movement of your anointing. May you spread your wing, O God, today, far away in a thousand miles from this radio. I call the Holy Ghost to take hold of this environment. I cause the whole heaven to pay attention to this prayer time. Cause everyone online today to hear the sound of the abundance of rain. Amen. Thank you, Father, for what you want to do today. We praise you, Lord. We magnify your holy name. Hallelujah. Amen. Please come on, have your seat confidently. Are you here with me today? When we come here like this, we know for sure we want to touch God. We want God also to touch us at the same time. Hallelujah. When the presence of God becomes boring, that is the day you should determine not to participate in such a gathering. Because I said how good and how pleasant it is, not how boring. How good and how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. And he said, where two or three are gathered, there I am in their midst. I said, so whatsoever you shall ask, touching two of you, it shall be done unto them in heaven. There are clarity in the scripture about gathering, gathering to pray. God have a great respect. For that god doesn't joke with a gathering that gathers in the name of jesus christ to pray unto him and right way around what prayer means is, is this prayer means act of submission act of humility it's a demonstration of our dependency on god and god cherishes and actually use that as a swiss many uh, servo to adorn himself the prayer and the voice of his saints that's what he does hallelujah so it is impossible for god not to be here and so lord god today whatever is contradictory to what we call head of individual in this environment i has the fire of the holy ghost the mouth of fire to consume them right now Amen. whatever sickness whatever disease 
that people might have contacted somewhere, somewhere, anywhere, any place. Among our brethren, today I decree, because we stand here in your name, let the mouth of the Holy Ghost be opened. Let him swallow them Amen. in victory. Amen. May the zeal of the Lord perform this. Amen. In Jesus' name we have declared. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Are you ready to pray? To pray? Yes, the reason why we are here is to pray. I want to say pray. pray. I want to say intercede. intercede. Right now, here it is. We need to Today we want to personalize, or you can say another word, customize the characters of God today in prayers. We want to personalize or customize the characters of God in prayer. Hallelujah. Amen. And we talk a lot so much, but it's in time for us to really get dig into those characters. The attitude of God and personalize it. And invite you, I invite it to a specific situation. Hallelujah. Amen. Now we're going to look at what it, what it is customizing and personalizing is all about. Right? Customizing or personalizing, okay? The character of God is simply designing God's attributes to meet the responses to own personal needs or situation you want to customize means you want to design god's character or attitude to meet the responses to your own personal needs or situations many, many body are many people are, i can tell you guarantee you that many people know many things many names about god but they do not personalize it hallelujah and God is not a fighter. When it comes to respect for your will, it doesn't fight. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. So he makes sure that you hear what you need to hear. You decide for yourself to personalize what you hear. Praise the Lord. Those that know their God shall be strong. Only those that know their God. Not those that heard about it. Not, not only that speak about it. Hallelujah. And Paul said, remember, he said that I might know him, okay? The fellowship of his suffering, okay? Hallelujah. The power of his resurrection. Hallelujah. It's those that know their God shall be strong and do exploit. It's not those that heard about their God. Those that sit down in the church and heard about it. Those that just look, uh, the onlookers. <laughs> Hallelujah. But those that know, amen. Those that know that God has a one who understand as a practice of God's presence that God gives respect to everyone who comes to him. God doesn't force anybody. Those, those are the ones who are entitled to get the maximum from God. Hallelujah. Amen. Number one, God is able. Amen. Right? Characters of God, number one, God is able. When you're talking about ability, that is God himself. The ability to do things. That is God himself. Some people will call it power. Alright. But I just call it simple ability. Some people will call it strength. Okay. I will call it simple. Simply. God is able. Now I'm going to tell you, you know, about the situation of Amaziah. Who was going to war against the Edomites. In the book of Second Chronicles. Chapter 25, verse 5 to 12. Then moreover, Second Corinthians, chapter 25, verse 5 to 12. Second Chronicles, chapter 25, verse 5 to 12. Um, moreover, Amaziah gathered Judah together and set over them captains of thousands uh, captains of hundreds according to their fathers houses throughout all judah and benjamin and he numbered them from 20 years old and above and found them to be three hundred thousand choice men Hebu, everybody say Hebu. Hebu go to, to go to war who could handle spear and shield verse six he also hired 
100,000 mighty men of valor from Israel for 100 talent of silver. It's an equivalent of about $40 million to get hired warriors from Israel. Verse 7. But a man of God came to him saying, O king, do not let the army of Israel go with you. Look at what the Bible God said. Yeah, do not let the army of Israel go with you. Now pay attention here. For the Lord is not with Israel. Hallelujah. Not with any of the children of Ephraim. Verse 8. But if you go, be gone. Be strong in battle. Even so, God shall make you fall before the enemy. For God has power to help and to overthrow. Everybody say, God has power. God is able means God has power, capability to dethrone, to overthrow, to help, to place in higher, higher authority, to place below high authority, to cast down and to lift up. That's the ability of God. Last words, this man of God was reminding Amaziah. Now let's look at what Amaziah did. Amaziah personalized. The inspiration a God from the man of God. Listen carefully. Verse 9. Then Amaziah said to the man of God, But what shall we do about the hundred talents that I have given to the troops of Israel? And the man of God answered, said, The Lord is able. Everybody said, The Lord is able to give you much more than this. You have no losses. <laughs> Hallelujah. Verse 10. So Amaziah discharged the troops that had come to him from Ephraim to go back home. Therefore, their anger was greatly aroused against Judah. And they returned home in great anger. Verse 11. The Amaziah strengthened himself and leading his people. They went to the valley of swords. He went to the valley of salt and killed 10,000 of the people of Seir. Verse 12. Also, the children of Judah took captive 10,000 alive, <laughs> brought them to the top of the rock, and cast them down from the top of the rock, so that they all were dashed in pieces. What happened to Amaziah? Amaziah personalized the God's ability and he invited God to the war. He withdrew from hiring laborers, warriors from Israel that God is against. Today, we want to pray. Hallelujah. Amen. You've been trusting so much, <laughs> trusting so much on the strength of unbelievers, on the help from those who are not non believers of God. You trusted so much in your strength so much in what you can put in to achieve success but god is saying tonight if you can personalize my ability and use my ability to encounter your experiences you're going to go all the way to make you a winner tonight yes. philippians chapter 4 verse 13 philippians 4 13 it says, i can do all things through christ who threatens me ability of god that's what the letter of Paul to the Philippians says. They personalize the ability of God clearly. Not say God is great, God is good. No, no, not only that. God is able through me to overcome my challenges. Hallelujah. I can do all things through Christ who gave me the ability. Hallelujah. I want to confirm also with you tonight before I swing you into prayer. God might just be like one after the other. We're just going to be picking it here and prayer will be going along. Just allow the Holy, Holy Ghost to use me tonight the way He want. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Ephesians chapter 3 verse 20. Ephesians chapter 3 verse 20. Now to him who is able. Everybody say to, to him who is able. able. Exceedingly. Do exceedingly. Abundantly. Not only doing things. Amen. Hallelujah. God is not only what? Doing things. But he does it exceedingly. 
that will open your mouth wide. You won't be able to close it. Exceedingly. And then not only exceedingly. Abundantly. It will exceed your partner. It will exceed your neighbor. It will exceed your peers. Not only that. It will cause overflowing. Hallelujah. Abundantly. Above all that we ask. If our trust is based only on our request. We have of all men most miserable hallelujah <laughs> hallelujah so our total dependence on god our preservation our supplies is not completely depend on our request but it depends on how we can personalize all these revelations hallelujah Amen. another prayer sometimes it just shows attitude of humility when god see your expression of submission he is found into doing greater than what you think you can ask hallelujah little prayers with connecting to the ability of god is far far greater than multiple prayers who has no deep connection with god almighty hallelujah praise the lord above all that you can ask or think according to the power that works in us it also depends on you according to the power that is able to connect to his ability hallelujah god won't do beyond your understanding of him <laughs> praise the lord god will do beyond your understanding that is the ability that you carry around because when we understand that that it begins to fan into action some people spend much more time on what is supposed to spend less time on the person said one hour or something they spend two hours because there's nothing telling them or they may not agree with what is telling them in their heart that god must be trusted hallelujah hallelujah and all that for struggling and working so hard and do all we can do as much as we can but the reward we are getting from it is like a meager reward and then they must come to that God has placed a blessing upon every struggle. Come unto me, all you that labor and are heavy laden, I will give you rest. It was the rest that we lost, we lost. Because simply, Adam and Eve got the forbidden fruit eaten. There was pollution. And the real rest that was given them was taken away. The Garden of Eden was no longer a resting place. It become a place of struggle where god placed cause on them and say okay you got to work hard you got to teach you you got to be eating you won't be able to eat real you know be able to have the real rest but when christ comes what happens christ turned the routine around hallelujah so come unto me all that labor is enough of your working hard without having a at least commensurate reward amen at least commensurate reward uh, very sad today, my most of us are getting reward and even less than that, even far, far, far less than the input we put in. This is a disaster that we need to call upon the Lord today to destroy. Hallelujah. Yeah. It must be a decisive prayer. Everybody, are you ready for a decisive prayer? Yeah. Anytime you come to God's presence, do not underrate it. Amen. Amen. God's presence cannot be underrated, Amen. it cannot be. From my little experiences in serving the Lord, I've found out over the over span of years of growth, every droplet of prayer you made with all your heart connected with God, it stays there forever for you. It preserves your future. So there's some time today, today and sometimes I don't pray about anything. They just happen. Because those times were the days where they ask us to pray. I take with all seriousness. I cry, worship God. Sometimes today what God was telling me, he said, oh God, I still want to pray. I feel like, say, say, relax. Don't do my work as if you are the one doing it. He was whispering to me, he said, I've given you grace already. You've got to embrace that grace. Just do what I want you to do. I'm going to give you the anointing to perform. Just do, take it easy with me. <laughs> Hallelujah. So Sometimes we work ourselves so hard and things God is so hard. It's because our heart is not connected with him. I want to strengthen you today and remind you that God is your ability. Everybody say God is my ability. 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 8. 
And God is able to make all grace abound towards you. That you always having all sufficiency in all things. Everybody say sufficiency. sufficiency. Make grace abound. That's all his ability. May have an abundance for every good work. God is not stingy. Amen. Everybody say God is not stingy. God is very abundant in the distribution of blessings. Hallelujah. <laughs> he said the blessings of God make rich without heart and sorrow. Make rich. Blessing doesn't just make happy. He make rich. Hallelujah. <laughs> blessing. Blessing of one one dollar. <laughs> blessing don't just make you excited. He make rich. Everybody say rich. When somebody is rich, it's overflowing. Hallelujah. Overflowing. People are coming, partaking. Hallelujah. It's not subsistent farmer. It's not a subsistent Christian. Hallelujah. His life pattern is a blessing to others. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I want to rise up on your feet right now. We're going to suck this in. The ability of God today. Let it go before me. And make all those things that seem to be very hard for me to achieve. Over years achievable. Lord. This management is too much. This struggle of counting dollar is too much. Looking after my money before I can make a progress is too much. Counting food I'm going to eat before I eat it is too much. Thinking too much before I buy is too much. I call upon your ability tonight to be able to achieve greater than what I think or imagine academically in the ministry here. No more struggle. I trust your ability to help me achieve greater than I have put in. In Jesus' name, we have declared. Amen. Every effort I've been putting in over time, today I call the ability of God to activate them to Amen. produce results. Amen. Let everything, work I've done so far, work so hard, I'm not having a return. Today, let the ability of God activate them. Amen. Let there be results. Amen. You know some people, they will do little things and they will cherish them. They will call them in the open. Just little thing. But you've been doing multiple of that. They don't recognize you. But when they do, that's when they are recognized. That's the ability of God. We are going to pray, God, let the, uh, your ability activate all my efforts. Yeah. No more waste. No more waste. Speak. No more waste. Every waste. Let there be restoration. Every waste of energy. Let there be restoration to the world. Activate them to the world. Exceedingly far above what I think. Let all my efforts never go in vain. Never go in vain. Never go in vain. Activate them by your ability. Oh Lord. Ab Give them by your ability. In Jesus' name, we are praying. And those of you that are there online with us, when we say rise up, you rise up on your feet. Sit down, you sit down. Have a seat right now. Hallelujah. God can see the yearning of your heart. All of you that are online, and He will respond to your cry. Today, you don't know what can happen. God has a way of doing things. It might just turn things around beyond your imagination. Hallelujah. God is what I know. It's not predictable. As far as my knowledge is with God, I have discovered that God does not negotiate his way of doing things 
with any man. Even if you are, you are so close to him as a prophet, he will not. It does things like drama. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Just open your mind tonight because something is about to be for your life. And it shall be permanent and unerasable. What we've been told about the ability of God here is that God does things overflowing abundantly, exceedingly and abundantly. We have two verses that confirm that exceedingly and abundantly. God doesn't do anything and start regretting. God says, heal you and then in the, next, in the same moment, you are back to sickness. Was the healing originally from God actually or it just emotional feelings? How can God do something? And then he repented. So God is not a man. Now I'm going to go up you. Lead me to another point. God is unchanging. Hallelujah. He's unchanging. Hebrews chapter 13 verse 8. Listen carefully. It's a common verse. But look at the depth of that verse. So Jesus Christ is the same yesterday. Today. And forever. <laughs> that means that. The miracle you receive today must be permanent. Amen. Anything that God is offering resembles Him. Amen. God doesn't give what does not resemble Him. Hallelujah. God is not a fake prophet, neither is He a Pharisee. So, therefore, God does not give what does not look like Him. Even when He created human, human beings, Adam and Eve, we were told. He created them in his own image. God has a way of generously duplicating himself into the world. Except for our sin. Who's standing between? When our sin is taken away, and thank God for Christ taking it away, we have free access, confidently to, to go to the throne of grace and replicate him into all the affairs of our life. His unchanging ability means that God is not going to repent and make you a, a, a <laughs> hallelujah. It's not going to allow you to be a dropout in you of age. It brought you here. It set you on a race. And then you're about to finish. I said, God, I'm tired. I'm not going to do it anymore. God is not tired. Hallelujah. He is able to finish what he started. That was told to Zerubbabel. I never forget that. The hand that began the, the good work, it shall surely finish it. Hallelujah. Yeah. God does not repent when it comes to replicating his dignity. God is very respectful. It's not disrespectful. And he doesn't want his glory to be shared with any. Not with great image. Not with any human. And so therefore, he remained the same. Amen. It is very consistent and it's very persistent. It was a consistent. <laughs> it is very persistent. It was a persistent. That means you're going to say, I'm with you to the end of the world. It means he is going to stay with you to the end of the world. Hallelujah. It's unchanging. Malachi chapter 3, verse 6. Take note of these verses. For I, the Lord, do not change. That's what he said by himself. Therefore, you. O children of Jacob are not consumed. Hallelujah. I, the Lord, do not change. It was clear. Amen. I what? I do not change. I do not change. They gave you a job and it's the following day they say, call you again. I said, that's the job. The job is no longer yours. We are going to reverse every call that people want to make and change my destiny today. I reverse that call. Whatever you are giving me shall be remain, shall remain permanent. Rise up on your feet and declare. God does not change. My miracle cannot change. My miracle cannot change. Because God does not change. When you give me a dream, the dream cannot suddenly become a bad dream. Rasatara Makashaya. God cannot change. In Jesus' name, we are praying. God 
have your seat. God cannot change also means God is not a waster. Whatever he deposits in you, he is not interested in wasting it. Because it doesn't change. It has a purpose of depositing that grace and gift into you. It must provide you an accommodation. Everybody say accommodation. accommodation. What is the meaning of that accommodation? A place where the gifting shall function. Because God is not saying, ah, I repented. I forgot. I made a mistake. I gave him the gift of singing. <laughs> if that's a gift of singing, I'm just saying, for example. I gave him the gift <laughs> to be able to minister the gospel. I gave him the gift to raise up the dead. I made a mistake. God does not what? Not change. Whatever capability God has given you, even through dream, and have not been manifesting. God will say, I am God. I can't change that dream to a bad dream. It is very expensive to have a good dream. Everybody say it's very expensive. very expensive. To have a good dream. A good dream is very expensive. When the devil tells you, challenging your good dream, wanting to change it, that's what the devil does. It comes in the dream when a man sleeps. His adversary come. They put the tears among the with what is the purpose of that to know that to reorganize the mind of the man to think in time of change <laughs> to pollute the initial dream he had to replace the place of the dream in his heart with a bad inspiration and so therefore the man goes around the woman goes around getting confused okay I don't even know what to choose. I had, a, I had a good dream yesterday. I had another bad dream today. And then everything will just be cut all around. And then they just get confused. And then we draw back. Instead of for the man to hold on that good dream. And ignore the bad dream. I will say ignore the bad dream. Yeah. One of the secrets of overcoming dream that has come from Satan. Is a total ignoring. I will say total ignoring. Yeah. That always gets the devil angry. Amen. I, I got to this level today by God's grace. The little level I am today, I'm just beginning. I got through little stuff in my life. Most of my dreams, I'll tell you today, they are bad dreams. Everybody say bad dreams. But when I grab the good ones, I decide not to allow them to be erased in my heart. When I grab the quality one, those are the ones I sit down on. Hallelujah. All the bad dreams, they are the jealousy they are born out of the jealousy of satan because it's so good thing about to happen and i introduce bad dream to say you guys you are still part of me you are part of my kingdom that does, dream doesn't belong to you that's just by accident there's nothing that comes from god that is by accident god 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 doesn't change learn how to share each other you have to personalize this today because god is unchanging he cannot repent of it you know we can study that example i always talk about that uh, joseph joseph uh, is an example we see all the calamities that come upon him but god does not because of those calamities to change his mind hallelujah all the calamities that are coming around him were also meant for his good amen what the devil told is for bad in the book of romans it has been what turned out to be good hallelujah all things work together for good for those that love the lord and are called according to the purpose the ability of god to be able to discern between good and evil is to be able to deliberately ignore evil and capitalize on the good it takes a deep sight to know what makes the world it is the goodness of god surely goodness of god shall follow me or not the badness of david went through war even his own son went against him but he didn't say surely bad things that i went through he said surely goodness surely goodness he was able to have the high eagle high to pick the goodness he said surely no matter what happened even though the enemies are around the table the lord decided to prepare a table for me <laughs> he prepared food for me on that table in the presence of my enemy and in his in his song he was not looking at the enemy he was looking at the favor of god hey, hallelujah preparing the table and i handed the old song he said surely goodness despite the enemies running the table 
despite the enemy attacking. Hallelujah. But I say, surely, goodness, that's the only thing I can see. That's what I was saying. That's the only thing I can see. Shall follow me all the days of my life. Open your mouth today and say, Lord Jesus, every good thing I've had that I'm almost forgetting, let them come to memory. Let them come to fruition. Whatever plan the enemy has against me to frustrate my side today, I reverse them. I take them out of my life. I capitalize of your good dream for my life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Rosta Tarakrama Katuro Bashendi. Rapatulo Kosupra Katahaya. Thank you. In Jesus' name, we have declared. Listen to me carefully. Something unexplainable is about to happen to you. Have your seat again. Have your seat again. It is not the abundance of things you see, but the ability. To have a good insight to pick few that will turn your destiny around. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> I see this, I see that, I see that, I see that, I see that, I gather that, I gather that. That's what makes people great. No. What makes people great is the ability to find out facts from what many people have come through. They couldn't get fact from it. A common place that other people have kind of looked at and they couldn't find anything. But when people that have ego high, <laughs> when they come over there, they will see one thing that people only ignore that turn their destiny around. So it's not in the abundance of what you see, but it's in the abundance of your insight to detect what God you want you to detect. You must learn tonight to pick out what God wants to pick out as this word I come here and we are praying. Hallelujah. I've told you the presence of God cannot be boring. The presence of God cannot be boring. Never is it in one day of my life since I've been serving God. I've ever come to God's presence and be bored. Never. It's a personal thing. Hallelujah. It's a personal thing. Ah. David said, how good and pleasant it is. For brethren to dwell together in unity. And you know what it said about it? It's that the precious heart, man. Hallelujah. Ah. Going through here on Spear to the scatter of this garment. And then God, at the end of the day, God, there God commanded blessings. Hallelujah. Say, I was glad when it was said unto me, Let us go to God's house, God's presence. It's never boring. Hallelujah. How can church be boring? <laughs> It is impossible. You could rise up tonight. Whatever is boring in my situation today, that appear as if God is changing, I command them restoration. Let there be restoration of goodness of God in my life. Whatever is setting me back for today, put an end to it. Put an end to it. Whatever made God's presence to look boring to me today, take it out. I am a child of promise. I am a child of a changing God. In Jesus' name, we have declared. Have your seat again. You take it easy. Amen. When you talk to God, you talk to God as your father. You do not talk to God as the one who is distant from you. He said, I will no longer call you servant, but I will call you friends. That's how victorious Christ has made us become. He took the perspective away from the whole testament and he brought a new perspective in the new testament. No longer call you servant, but a friend. Hallelujah. And to the extent that is equalizing us with him, praying to the Father. He said, our father, pray like this, our father who art in heaven. So he's gathering all his followers along with him as part of sons. We are, as he is son to God, we are also sons to God. He didn't say grandson. <laughs> Hallelujah. That's how, that, that's, that's how serious it is. Amen. Benefit we have in the New Testament. 
Hallelujah. James chapter 1 verse 17. James chapter 1 verse 17. Listen carefully. <laughs> Listen carefully. Every good gift and every perfect gift is from the above. Now why? Coming down from the Father of light. But the Bible says, God is light. In him there is no darkness at all. Everybody say, darkness, darkness at all. It's not changing. <laughs> Let's look what it follows. With whom there is no variation or shadow due to change. When God gives you things, it doesn't cast shadow. Like you have in my back here. Hallelujah. <laughs> this is not a good light. Hallelujah. But the light of God, it casts out darkness completely. You don't see any trace, no shadow of anything. It's distinct. Hallelujah. I will say distinct. distinct. So when God gives you a gift, it's clear. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What is the point of giving you high GPA if you're not going to get a good job? What is the point? What is the point? Is God a waster? Hallelujah. It's not a waster. Send it to all the whole Houston here to come and waste your time. <laughs> you brought it to a fellowship to come and waste your life. <laughs> you make you drive all the way, come over here. For what purpose? To waste you. <laughs> God is not a waster. God is not changing. He said, God does not wish. He has not commanded the house of Israel to serve him in vain. It's not changing. He is addicted to not changing. He is unrepentant, unrepentant, unchangeable changer, unrepentant, unchangeable changer, unrepentant, unchangeable changer. It doesn't need a consolidation of your enemies to agree with you. It doesn't need their opinion to decide to do what you want to do in your life. And in fact, it doesn't need solidarity. Of your friends, <laughs> or believing friends, before he can set you in the motion of success. God doesn't need the permission of anybody. He is unchangeable changer. He can be changed, but he can change things. Hallelujah. And he's unrepentant about it. Very, very unrepentant. So the Bible says the gift of God is without repentance. That's how it is. Number one, there's no shadow of turning in it. It's no variableness. But also the gift is without what? Without repentance. That means whatever you get, it, get out of this prayer night today, it remains forever. Yeah. How can you come to God's presence and go out complaining? It's impossible. It's impossible. May your eyes be open and know that what you receive today is not only meant for today. It's meant for tomorrow. It's not only meant for tomorrow. It's meant for day after tomorrow. It's not only meant for day after tomorrow. It's meant for years to come. May your eyes be open. 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 Eyes be open. Number 23, verse 19. I want to soak you in God's word so that your prayer that comes from you is from the lines of God's hearts. God hears faster when what he says is repeated unto him. Just like a little baby. I said, come. He said, come. Sit down. He said, sit down. He's practicing to speak. The more he's responding to the parent, the more the parent wants to speak more. Hallelujah. The parent enjoy the child trying to learn. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So when you repeat what God says back to him, it gets him excited. He said, really? Ah, and the woman say, the man God says, he said, the meat meant for the children, for the sons, are not meant for the dogs. And the woman said, Really? Oh, well, okay. So when the crumb falls on the floor, what happens? The dog will pick it and eat it. And Jesus said, Who is this? He said, In the whole history, I've never found someone like this with his faith. Hallelujah. So God can be challenged. God can be challenged only by word, by his word. Hallelujah. When you repeat, when you get 
when we get ourselves inclined to what he says we get provoked in action our our pain and suffering doesn't provoke god okay they say our pain sufferings and all the all the rest do not provoke god but what provoke god is the attitude of of us towards him against our challenges that's what provokes him all right so people look at their mountain instead of, instead of putting god before their mountain all right they put and what they are doing they're looking at their mountain and they're calling upon god we're supposed to push the mountain to what to god so that god can face the mountain but they are facing their mountain and said, Oh, Monday, right now, I'm telling you right now. You, what do you want to tell Monday? Monday can't hear anything. But the one who created the mountain has given it here to hear him. You push the mountain back to the owner so that they can subdue it. Hallelujah. And he says, Your faith is as small as, as, as mustard seed. You shall command this mountain to be shifted from here to the other side and it will obey you. And it says, nothing, nothing shall be impossible for you with your little faith hallelujah learn how to connect with your faith with god so that god can take care of the mountain this is what god enjoys doing amen our situation does not embarrass god it does not embarrass god what embarrasses god is our detachment from the realization that he is able to do all things hallelujah god is unchanging everybody god is unchanging hallelujah Number 23, verse 19. God is not a man that he should lie, or a son of man that he should change his mind. <laughs> Do you see that? He's not a man that change his mind. God said, one day, he put you in a room and put anointing there. He baptized you with anointing in a room. And anointing filled up all to, all to, be, all to be pop. Rakosha katalamolo kotaya nakasaya. And somebody is opening that place and say, Ah, you didn't come in to partake in this anointing. You alone in this room, you feed the old room with anointing coming from heaven. Angel, pour the anointing upon you and the old room for you. Come in, my brother. Please help me. He began to pack the anointing and put it up in his body, rubbing his body. Hallelujah. And God will repent that. He's making mistake in letting that happen in a dream. I have never seen the son of the righteous and his family begging for bread. God is a giver. When he gives, he doesn't repent of giving. His gift is permanent. And for instance, I'm an advantage taker. When I see God giving me things, I jump at it quickly. Everybody say quickly. Rest up on your feet quickly. Father, I grab all the goodness. And mercy you have for me tonight, I grab it. I take my copy now in the name of Jesus Christ. Everything you have established in my life that I've lost by ignorance, let there be restoration. Let there be restoration. I have in ignorance ignored all that you have given to me today. Let there be restoration. Restoration of my consciousness. To grabbing all that you have given to me. I'm going back there. Grab them. One by one. Grab them. One by one. You gave me two years ago. 30 years ago. 40 years ago. 15 years ago. 2 years ago. 3 years ago. 3 years ago. 10 years ago. 5 years ago. I grab them now in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. If God believed, have you said, believed that God, sometimes I don't have good mouth to express what I'm hearing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If God want to take somebody away and believe that it isn't good for this one to be in the world. This one will be a waster. I think he would have taken him away when he was 11 months in the mother's womb and the mother was crying, couldn't deliver him. 
In the eleventh month, the mother now delivered. What was it that the child couldn't die? It would have been more profitable for the child to die at the at the uh, in the fortress, in the mother's womb, eleventh month. Child is normally born after nine months. But the child stayed there, they didn't hear any shaking, no voice, no crying, no shaking, no breathing, just tears stuck in the mother's womb. And who gave the mother the confidence that she's still going to deliver? And the mother stayed there, kind of belly around the whole place. What was God's plan? Hallelujah. And so if God thought that they, this man would be a waster, then why would he allow him to be given back to eventually? So I call God Almighty tonight. Everything that is blocking my progress, let them open up. Open up. Lift up your head, all you get. And be ye set up, ye everlasting door, that the King of Glory may come in. Let my help of destiny come, 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 knocking at my door. Come, 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 knocking at my door. Come, come, come. East, not west of the world. My help of destiny. Come, come, come. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Joseph did not embark on the journey personally. God uses various experiences to take him on a journey. From his father's house to Egypt, from the Egypt to prison, from the prison to fulfillment. He never had to pay for it. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. He did not have to make a deal. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> He didn't pay money to go through the journey. <laughs> he didn't take any flight <laughs> or train to go through the journey. Moving from his own country. But God orchestrated that he has to move from his father's house. Today, whatever is making me slowing down for me to get to the place you want me to get fulfilled in life. Today, speed it up. Amen. Speed me up. Whatever is slowing me down today, I'm afraid of tomorrow. I'm afraid of taking both steps today. Whatever is stepping me backward today, let them be completely removed. Put a speed onto my feet. Put a speed onto my feet. Put a speed onto my feet. Put a speed to my feet. To move quickly to my place of fulfilling destination. Put a speed with a momentum onto my feet. Work things out on my behalf. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, we pray. Oh, Lord, thank you for having respect for this place. We give you all the glory, Lord. And so God is not a man that he will repent, that will change his mind. He is not like that. Hallelujah. As he said, I will not do it. Or as he spoken, I will not fulfill it. Psalm 102, 25 to 27. Psalm 102. 25-27 Of old you laid the foundation of the earth and the heavens are the work of your hands. They will perish but you will remain. <laughs> Hallelujah. Eterna. Eterna. The unchanging changer. They will all wear out like a garment. Father, every old gift I have that is stepping me away from you to get a bigger portion. They are worn out. They become old. Take them out. Amen. Replace them with a great, great gift from you. Open your mouth and declare. Great gift from you. Every gift of men. They are temporary. They are for just a, a just, just for just for a while. A little while. Today, replace them with a permanent gift from you. 
Because you never change. You never change. You never change. In Jesus' name, we have declared you will change them like a robe and they will pass away. But you are the same and your years have no hand. You are the same and your years have no hand. You are the same <laughs> and your years have no hand. You are the same. You are the same. Rakata Pramakasa. You are the same. And they start a fellowship. And he said, now I've led you to a particular junction. Now I turn my back against you. I'm gone. No more fellowship. How can God do that? <laughs> when they say casting down, God says lifting up. I'm seeing us having a big place. Hallelujah. Big place. Big place. Big place. Big place. Big place. What the eyes have never seen. What the ears have never heard. What American youth and young adults have never experienced in their life. It's about to happen. It's about to happen. It's about to happen. God is the only orchestrator. Not human. It's about to happen. It's about to happen. It's about to happen. God can't change his mind. God is not a man. God is not a playboy. <laughs> God is not a joker. Neither is he a joke. <laughs> God doesn't play card. <laughs> he said, it's a sin when the yes is not yes. And no is not no. He said, let your yes be yes, your no be no. Anything outside this is evil. God is not evil. He does not tempt with evil. When he gives a gift, he made the gift accomplish his purpose. He has given us a fellowship. The fellowship must grow. Tonight, pray God, may your fellowship grow beyond our reasonable doubt. Let people begin to receive miracles, signs and wonders, solutions to their problem in the name of Jesus Christ. Every young generation in this nation, let them connect with this move of God. There is a mighty move in this nation. It's about to happen. It's about to happen. It's about to happen. It's about to happen. Thank mm -hmm. you.